Privacy is probably the hottest topic that pops up when there is any discussion with respect to mobile apps. There are two facets to privacy here. The first one is the uh, unauthorized or uh, access of personal data like your contact coordinates etc. And the second is the uh, unscrupulous and clandestine accessing of uh, your phone's peripheral devices like your camera and phone. So in today's episode of making it simple or making IT simple, I'm going to be talking about how you can control the mobile apps from accessing your phone's camera and mic. Hi, my name is Deepak and I run a company called Nurture IT, which has been sharp focused on providing the right IT and telecom solutions for startups and scaling up SMBs for the last 20 years. Now again, there are two aspects to this. The first aspect is, of course, for you to be made aware when your camera or mic of your phone is being accessed. While our laptop camera or an external camera that we might use, it's fairly easy because the light comes on whenever an application is accessing the camera. It's not so when, uh, when we're talking about an Android phone. While this is not an inherent feature in Android, there is a workaround by installing an app. So this is how you can go about doing this. It's called access.-ios14 cam slash mic access indicators. Once you install this and enable it through the accessibility settings menu, you can then select the color, the size, and even the location of the dots that will indicate the usage of the microphone and camera. So if the light is glowing, then it's obvious that an app is accessing and using your uh, camera and mic. This is how you can uh, come to know about it. Now the second part is what are the applications and at what point of time do you want to grant permission for these apps to use your camera and mic. This is how you can restrict or control that. Go into the settings, then go into the privacy section. Under privacy, go to permissions manager. You will see all the possible permissions that can be accorded in your device. Our current interest of course is in the camera and microphone. So let's pick up the camera first. This will display the apps in four different sections and those are allowed all the time, only while in use, ask every time and disabled. It's definitely not advisable to accord allowed all the time permission to any of the apps. To change the permissions for any of the apps, just click on it and it will give you a roll down of which uh, permission you want to accord for that. Go ahead and apply it and it's done. It's as simple as that. You can then apply the same thing for the microphone. You can also use this permissions to control various other data access stuff like controlling access to your contacts, your call logs, your location or any of these parameters. Though this seems very simple, it's actually extremely important and most of the times overlooked. So I do hope that uh, this episode is kind of going to uh, bring that up to your notice and you will make necessary changes in your phone to protect your own data and your privacy. For solutions similar to this for your IT and telecom for your organization, you know whom to reach out to. Good luck and stay safe.